Hi, welcome to Ask the Editor. I'm Corey Stamper, an associate editor here at Merriam-Webster. So let's say you're swimming in the ocean and you see some eight-legged cephalopods. You say to your friend, hey, I saw a group of octopuses. And your friend says, hey, you're an ignorant slob. You saw a group of octopi. So is it octopuses or octopi? Well, octopus first showed up in the English language in the mid-1700s, and it was given a standard English plural, octopuses. That's easy, right? No, of course it's not. Because there was a grammatical movement afoot at the time to make English less irregular by making it more like Latin, which is nice and even and predictable. So these grammarians took a bunch of the Latin-based words in English that end with U.S., like octopus, and gave them proper classical Latin plural endings. Enter octopi, the correct plural of octopus. There's one problem. Octopus isn't Latin. It's, in fact, ultimately from Greek. But that's okay. Some smarter grammarians figured this out and gave the plural of octopus the Greek ending it needed, and hence we have octopodes, which is pretty rare and appears only in British English. They all forgot one thing. Whenever a word from a foreign language enters English, it becomes an English word and gets inflected just like other English words. So octopuses was just fine. Well, what does this mean for you? If you say octopuses, you can continue to do so without fearing you're an ignorant slob. If you say octopi, you can continue to do so, but realize you have no grounds to tell the people who say octopuses that they are ignorant slobs. And if you say octopodes, you'd better be prepared to deliver this spiel at a moment's notice and in a British accent. Stay tuned for future episodes of Ask the Editor here on merriamwebster.com.